So I'm going to throw out a perhaps controversial statement among wind players. The oboe was the first woodwind. Long before the clarinet or horn or trumpet, there was the oboe in all its high-pitched reedy splendor, and there's plenty of proof. There are examples thrown throughout history and all over the world of oboe-like, or at least double-reeded instruments, from the aulos of ancient Greece to the shenhai of the Indian subcontinent to the shams of medieval Europe. Even bagpipes are double-reeded, and they come from the Middle East, not Scotland, but that's a story for another day. But in any case, oboes are everywhere, and are used in all sorts of settings and capacities. However, despite this diverse array of cultures and locations that each instrument hails from, they all share a common purpose as ceremonial instruments. It is this ancient and continuing tradition that John Steinmetz draws upon in his trio for three oboists, Common Ground. In particular, the first movement, Mending Dance, paints a picture of an imaginary ceremony. The three oboes take turns in calling out to the masses, announcing the beginning of a series of rites before commencing their dance. They pass off melodic and rhythmic ideas, sometimes overtaking each other, showing off their technical and musical virtuosity, and creating a rich and meditative collection of sounds and textures. Despite these intricate interactions, however, no single part ever stands truly alone. No one player can exist without the presence of their two counterparts. Steinmetz quotes novelist Wendell Berry, who says, Whether we know it or not, whether we want to be or not, we are members of one another. Humans, ourselves and our enemies, earthworms, whales, snakes, squirrels, trees, topsoil, flowers, weeds, germs, hills, rivers, swifts, and stones. All of us. For us, it is not a question of whether or not we shall be members one of another, but of whether or not we shall know that we are, and act accordingly. Thank you. 